I wonder if I have to go back to the professor or he'll just tell you the hint about going to the pipe in the west side sewers. Kind of where you went to Twilight Town. There's a, there's a pipe there, but it's blocked by a stone block, which you can now break. He probably tells you to get the, uh, the Ultra Hammer and then that's how you can get access to that. Let me get on my recipe list, that way I can start making stuff. Okay. So we can make a coconut bomb, and then we also need to make choco cake. Not choco cake, cocoa can. It's gonna be a cake mix. And our coconuts. Um, do I have room for the coconuts? I do. Let's see, the keel mango, there's the mango smoothie, and then there's a Koopa bun. Koopa bun is just tart lily leaf with the mango. It's a pretty bad recipe. It just gives you 15 FP. And then mango delight is just cake mix in that. Okay. So I'll get two cake mixes. And that'll give us a mango delight. And then I think you can make a, a love pudding if you get an egg and that mango delight. Also, I don't think I checked the stuff that they added here. Yeah, nothing I really needed. Just two cake mixes. It means I do need to pick up another egg, though. Um, let me cook one recipe first, and then... Or nah, I'll go get the egg. But I also need a Koopa leaf, too. Okay, that's just enough space. This is the last time I need to get a freaking egg. I'm trying to think any of the other recipes. Hopefully don't need eggs. I think I'm gonna need another turtle leaf for pasta recipes. I might toss one of those uh ice storms though. I think by this point you can get all the recipes in the game because there's nothing special in chapter 7 that gives a uh, unique recipes at this point you're good to go to make everything whether or not you get anything from making all the recipes I don't think that's gonna happen it'd be cool but I don't think anything is gonna happen
Oh, the sprite looks different in this game. Oh no, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's the same exact thing. I was looking at the wrong uh, cooking item. Because they're both orange, so I got it confused. Why does that have to make you sleepy? And also, why did they decide to make another item similar to that? Um, I think I need to go get the... Let me cook a mystery, see if we get anything. Also, I do need to cook the spaghetti by itself, too. I need to get both of my coconuts, and I do have a fire flower on me, so that's good. See, it makes it worse when you cook it. That's so stupid. I don't know whoever thought that was a good idea, but they should be fired for it. How many recipes am I at right now? Uh, 41 out of 58, okay. Fortunately, we won't be able to make everything right now because we need to talk to uh, a rat businessman because he'll give us another important cooking item. The hot sauce, I think, is what he gives us. And this is technically the best single target damage because I think it does like seven. Or is it six? I think it's seven. That, or no, it might be six. Oh, well, I'm not going to test it. Nope. Oops. I thought I did a... Uh, did I choose single item? I did it. I remember this does 7 damage to everybody. Also, I don't think I've ever showed it before, but like, she has this little shine if you make something really good. Because I usually skip this, so I guess I'll show it off. There you go. I don't think... let's see... oops. Okay, we're gonna need another turret leaf, and then... the hot sauce. Let's go do that hot sauce quest then. Oh, I need to check if I made space food. I want to say I did. Yeah, I did, okay. I'm not doing toodles because that one's kind of annoying. It's just going back and forth between Postly Heights and a Glitzville. Thankfully, it's not as annoying as the original game, but it's still kind of annoying.
We'll leave the, the worst for last. Thankful we'll get her upgraded uh, by the... Before we head to the moon, though. Because I think the last shine sprites are in a far outpost. You got anything new? Nope. I would kind of like to know if, like, he had, like, a icon or something for when, like, people want to talk to you or something. They got something new to say to you, but... I don't think they really do that in this game. Be nice touch, though. Let's see... Um, if I go over here, we can get something. We can get this chest, and then there's something else we can get. Now we can both be pretty tanky. Well, I think my partners need another defense plus for it to be even. Kind of sucks that this is only for a shine sprite, though. Or not, not a shine sprite, a star piece. My bad. <laughs> or a shine sprite that would make sense. Star piece, not so much. I mean, kind of. I mean, star pieces are kind of out of the way, but... If I do this, does it knock it off? No, it doesn't. It'd be kind of cool if it did. Now I gotta make it all the way back. We're gonna do the Rat Guys quest. So I don't know why I came over here. <laughs> Maybe I wanted to do that where I got the two things over here. Maybe, I don't know. It's a lot of things I have to keep in mind. Oh, you know what? I can get all the. Shine sprites now that I have the ultra boots. Um. Yeah, let me go back over here. <laughs> Whoops. Because you can go back to to the underground town and you can get the last one. Should have did that. Because there's one here, and I think there's two in Far Outpost. If we head over here, go into this alleyway where this pipe is. And then it looks like you could do something here, but there's nothing. It's kind of odd. Makes sense of like a spin panel or something, but no. Just nothing. This way takes you to something. I think that gets us the music for Rogueport. Maybe the artwork, too. Yep. I think that's what it looked like in the original game. 
Doesn't look like how it is now. Oh yeah, it shows the different flowers that you can see. Not all of them, though. And that's what it's supposed to look like if you're missing a title, it would show up there. <gasps> Multiple Marios, what the heck? Ooh, I like this. <laughs> look at that Koopa lady. That's cool. You know, I heard this idea that this game was going to be like one giant town and there would be all these districts that you would need to go to to get each crystal star. And I kind of like that idea, actually. It would have been cool to see like all these areas that you go to are actually just part of this big town of Rogueport. <laughs> I like this Goombella. She looks funny. Look at Mario. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, this one's good too. Oh, this art is really good. I wonder if it shows the name of this guy in uh, Japanese. Oh, this is more of like the 64 Mario art style. Oh, that would have been cool if we got, like, a fire buddy. Oh, this this character. I need to go look at their uh, lore. That's a good song, I like that one. Grifty, that's their name. Ooh, that's really good. I guess we can go this way to the war pipes. For this one, I'm actually gonna look up the answer for this because you need to go to like four different locations to look for chairs. So I am not gonna take the time to do this. Okay, the answer is 2625. I think he's over. Over in the glitz pit near the entrance. I think he says that in his quest. Any trouble? There he is. <laughs> like I just teleported Yoshi over there. Such a weird idea. Oh, Flurry has six chairs in her house. Still pretty weird. Does he still have the weird way of in inputting numbers? They do. Because if you want to do six or five, you have to ask for more. Huh? 
Hey, you better remember, buddy. I'm not doing this again. At least not for cheap. At least this guy gives you a cool, uh, uh, reward for it. Because not only do you get hot sauce, which is a pretty cool item, you can just keep buying it. So he unlocks a, a cooking recipe for you, or cooking recipes. There's multiple stuff that you can do with this. Wish there was more NPCs like this. Okay, so we need this to make inky sauce. Let me see how many inky sauces we need. So it's hot sauce with... You do a tasty tonic with it, which is pretty good, actually. Because it gives you 30 FP, inky sauce. So we need inky sauce to make ink pasta. And then I believe we also needed to make cocoa or choco cake with this cake. So we need to make two inky pastas or inky sauces. So that's two hot sauces. And then we also need to make spicy pasta. So that's three hot sauces. Okay. And then I just need one more uh, turtle leaf. And then from there, it's just the uh, the shroom recipes, where it's like uh, honey syrups, maple sh syrups, and jam and jellies. Is General White still here? Ah, he's gone, okay. Supposed to be gone, so. Just wondering if he's they were gonna disappear him and when you needed him, or just make him disappear after this chapter or in this time in the game. Alright, let's make some stuff. Oh, I forgot to get the tasty tonics. Uh, well, I'm full on the items, so maybe hold off on that for a second. So I think we can do this with the spaghetti. Let me just make sure that's correct. I don't want to be wasting this stuff. I'm having to do another trip. The spicy pasta can be made with the spaghetti, okay. It can be made with that, coup pasta or fresh pasta, so I was just making sure. This is nice because it, it retains both properties of the cooking recipes, which a lot more recipes should, but you just don't. I wish this made you have more defense or something. But nope. Okay, um, let me get, what, two tasty tonics, maybe I can just get over here. Oh wait, I think I need, uh, no, I think I just need the two, right? Because I need to make inky sauce and then inky cake or the choco cake, and I think it makes ink pasta too. Good thing I have this uh, <laughs> this cooking guide stuff because I would not remember this at all. I 
It's like, how? <laughs> like I said, how else are you supposed to know these recipes? There's very few instances in the game where you actually are being told about recipes. Unless it's like a post-game thing that I've never seen before. It kind of sucks if that's when you find out what recipes are what. Okay, fresh pasta and inky sauce. Which is pretty bad, actually. The inky sauce is a good item. 30 FP is really good to, he to heal with. Oh, okay, never mind. It's actually better. Because then it just uh, heals 10 HP. I need to get one cake mix. What will that bring my cooking recipes up to? 40 out of 58, okay. I'm assuming most of them are just those mushroom recipes that I'm missing. Probably just be getting my maple syrups from here when I need them for the recipes. This is the one I was thinking of that makes inky sauce worse. Okay. For recipes. So I still need two of the honey shrooms. So let me do that. I got the inventory space. Um, let me sell some of the stuff I don't need. So we're going to need two of these honeys. I guess I'll just store that. I don't really need it right now. Everything else I'll keep. I don't have a super shroom, would I? It'd be a weird thing for me to have in here. Um, well, how many maple syrups will I need for recipes? I guess I'm gonna need three of them. And I really wish they gave you more inventory space just to make the cooking easier. I don't know why they decided to give Strange Shack only five. Such a weird choice, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna need three Super Shrooms. What's my inventory looking okay? Then we can get three syrups. Through maple syrups. I guess I could have got the super shrooms here too. I think they're more expensive because that's 30 coins essentially, because it's uh, 
three coin to one Piant token ratio. Let's see what I... Just making sure I'm not making the same recipes over and over. Okay, we'll start with the honey recipes. I don't know, even know why they made these recipes because they're like really bad. Like, why would you waste an ultra shroom and a honey or waste it with the honey syrup? And same thing with the jammin or the jelly shroom and jelly supers, those are just wastes as well. I guess maybe because you like package two items together, but even then, I, I think it's a little. Kind of wasteful. I think I need to get a, a regular mushroom and then a, hopefully an ultra shroom. I think I have one in my storage I can probably get. Hoping Charlie might have one. See if he has one. Does not. I just need to go two rooms over if I want to swap or update his inventory. So I need two jamming jellies for this other two mushroom recipes. I don't think I have. Yeah, I need one more for that. And another so two jelly recipes. Do I have any jamming jellies in storage? I have one. Okay. Well, I guess I need to just get lucky with Charlington, I guess. not, I guess I could bite the bullet and bite at the depot. Charlie saves me like 80 coins, so I hopefully I can... Hopefully I can just get it from him. Dang it. As I go to the, uh, the depot then. Instead of waiting for like a, a possible thing, I'll just go for the sure thing and and bite the twenty or the eighty coin loss. I'm gonna sell it anyways. I'm probably not gonna be using it. Oh wait, I need the. So I can I need to buy another 
one of these. Or no, I need another gem jelly. <laughs> My bad. I could have bought the wrong thing. Because I don't think I need any more Ultra Shroom recipes. Alright. Yeah, we just need that and that. Because we already got the Jelly Ultra there. Gotta remember what this is. And this one. Pretty good. Maybe, I think Fruit Parfait is one of the things I'm missing. And I think I can use a Keel Mango or a Peachy Peach for that. Let's see. I think I might do the Peachy Peach. I mean, Keel Mango isn't that bad either. Also, I need to get a Mushroom. So, Fruit Parfait and then... One more recipe. Hmm, I don't know what recipe I'm missing. Oh, also, I think Lumpy is back in town, and he can give me some cash. I'll go talk to him and see. Gives me 999 coins. That's what he would do in the original game. Either 999 coins or 900 coins, something like that. Lumpy, my man. Or my rat. What's going on, dude? Oh, wow. I don't think I remember this. Uh, I think I'll read this another time. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out in a bit. Now we're rich again. Just we were, just like we were in, uh, I think, Chapter 5. So, what did I want to go check? Oh, I need some sort of fruit. I think I'll just get the Keel Mango. Because uh, the PG Peach I can get, but I just need to sleep in an inn. This is the Keel Mango, you can just... Uh... Oh, you can get the PG Peach recipe first, because that's Chapter 4. And this one you need to wait to beat Chapter 5. Oh yeah, one thing I need to update with my uh, recipe list is I need to sort out the rest of things that are hidden recipes. Like the things that you can cook with like point swaps and stuff, I need to uh, take those out. Or at least push them to the back, that way when they're ordered, they're ordered the same way as how it is in the game. Because right now I think it's just ordered alphabetically. Uh, I do need a honey syrup for that fruit parfait. I'm surprised he hasn't stocked up on more of the uh, Luigi books. What is this? 
uh, wait. What did I need? I know I want to make the, uh, this. Oh, do I need to make a, a jelly shroom? I think that's what I need. For some reason I thought I already made that. Make sure. Still need the jelly shroom, okay. I think there's just one more thing, but I need to figure out what that one thing is. Um, if I sort it by ABC, that'll be much easier for me. So it's whatever is after Honey Ultra. Let's see in my list here. Honey Ultra. I got the Icicle Pop. Okay. Huh. There's something hidden here. So my recipe list, the only thing that comes after a Honey Ultra is Ice Storm, but that's a hidden recipe. I wonder if they added something new. If that's the case, <laughs> I'll never find out what this recipe is. Hmm, what is that last recipe? I have Choco Cake. I have the Cocoa Candy. I have... Coconut bomb, the couple's cake, courage meal, the egg bomb, electro pop, fire pop, fresh juice I made, the egg I've made, fruit parfait I've made, with the salad, the heartful cake, honey candy, the three honey recipes. There must be some recipe with an eye in it. And maybe a G? Hmm. There's... I got these... Jelly candy and the jelly recipes. Got the Koopa bun, the Koopa tea, Koopa pasta. Got these... Oh, it wouldn't be live shroom here. Because that would be down here. So... I don't think they added the uh, recipes for live shrooms in this game. That was a Japanese only thing. And although they did bring in one of the Japanese recipes, I don't think they're bringing in the rest. Let's see, Meteor Meal, Mistake, Moose Cake, Broths, I got all that. Almond Meal, Peach Tart, Poison Shroom, Snow Bunny, Space Food, Spaghetti, other pastas. Spicy soup, trial stew, the zest recipes, I got those. Huh, so they added a recipe. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what that recipe would be. <laughs> I don't think the game's ever gonna tell me what this recipe is, considering his track record on telling you that kind of stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here for this play session, and then maybe by the time for the next one I'll find out what the recipe is. See you guys.